Welcome back. We're going to practice some problems on um, playshogi.com. On playshogi.com, there's this mode called Byoyomi Survival. You have 30 seconds to play a move, just like a normal game. And the idea is you're trying to find a checkmating sequence. Not just move pieces legally, but actually find best moves. And it's not easy. I'm probably failing that. Yep, so we failed our first puzzle. Honestly, I don't know why a single failure doesn't end the run. But let's keep going. Um, these puzzles are hard. Yeah, I don't know what the answer to this is. Okay, we got two wrong guesses and two puzzles in a row. Perhaps we want to change puzzle modes, because evidently I don't understand how to do this. Um, okay, so we... Yeah, here... Okay, and notice that after a correct move, <laughs> this wrong message doesn't immediately go away until you get a puzzle solved correctly. But yeah, the timer does reset between correct moves. So that's your impetus to try to play a correct move, is so that you can get time to play the next correct move. This doesn't make sense to me. Oh, if I move this without promoting it, then I can check there. There we go. Um, so the next... Hmm, I don't see a mate here. This is probably super obvious to Shogi veterans out there. Oh, there's two mates. One is if horse takes, the other is if king takes. Yeah. There's multiple variations, both of which lead to mate. Um, every move has to be check. Otherwise, this maybe could be simpler. I don't know. This can't be correct. So we failed. Event complete, final score of three in five, uh, two and a half minutes. Um, I suppose it would make sense to review the failed attempts afterwards, but I'm honestly not in the mood for that. Let's switch up modes. So there's more than one mode here. We did see there's the Spiriomi Survival, which prevents, presents a number of different puzzle modes. Uh, we could try the high score attempt mode, which is basically the same thing. I don't know why these are separate. Oh, this one gives you a five minute timer to just get through as many puzzles as you're able. Um, so it's a bit more action packed than uh, Byoyomi Survival is. Still... Um, you have to find the correct moves. You can't just make random moves. If I promote, the king takes, and there's nothing next. If I promote here, the dragon takes, and there's still not a next move. Um, oh, if I cut off the square between these, then the king runs out, and there's not a next move either. If I sack the bishop here, the king takes, so that doesn't work either. So how can there be... oh, if I drop there, no, that's also wrong. Uh, if I sack here, the king has to take, but that doesn't force a mate. Um, if I drop here, rook takes. Okay, that's tricky. So this is a this chess equivalent or shogi equivalent of a chess back rank mate. 
That was a bit hard to read. After five correct solutions, uh, the level of difficulty of the puzzle steps up by one. So, try not to get too thrown off by that. Um, well, this is weird. What is this? What is this? If I had a piece in hand, this would make much more sense. Um, I am stumped. I don't understand. I thought I've looked at every move. Like this silver advance, they block with a piece. I've got nothing. If I check with the dragon, the king runs. If I double check here or single check here, um, single check, they take my dragon. Oh, and then I can promote again. A double promotion, checkmates. Then this gets more complicated. All right, so next up, we have two pieces and a mate in five. If I sack, yeah, I think this, no, that's what I get for thinking, or feeling rather than saying I'm thinking when I'm really not. Um, yeah, this is not an easy game, in case that was not clear. Chess is a battle, shogi is a war. Shogi endgames are not easy. Hmm. I don't understand this one. There's so many pieces on this board, and every piece is necessary for the mate, which is supposed to be a clue. It's a rather difficult clue. Can I go here without promoting? No, that's not it. Hmm. Seventeen seconds. We're just going to make a guess, and that guess is incorrect. All right, so these are various high scoring modes. We got a score of five. If you want to see the leaderboard, uh, high scores are go as high as 18. Um, folks that are on closer to my level, like Time Zombie here, uh, have a score of 15. So somehow I, in 81 Dojo, I happen to outrate Time Zombie, but man, he just ground these problems somehow. I don't know how he did it. That's impressive. Um, but yeah, the better you score, the better your chances in a real game. Uh, separately, though, um, there is this problem collection section, which might be of greater interest to our more casual players, such as myself. So yellow traffic light got through this problem set in 14 minutes. I do not have a solve time on it, but we can give it a shot. Should we? Might as well, right? Okay. Um, I had an overlay adjustment for this. Let me see if I can quickly get this back online here. So, I apologize. I didn't quite have this ready. Well, this is stylus here. Yeah, okay. I think this will work if I refresh. Yeah, okay. So, wait, did that not adjust the layout, though? I thought my 
whatever solution I had, I thought hmm, I had something to adjust the dimensions of the page so that it would look fantastic on the live stream. Um, give me one second while I try to fix the website layout to fit on my 720p display because we might be here for a while. So yeah, I'm just going to manually reduce the width of that there. And this should be fine, right? Um, there we go. That looks fine to me. That looks fine to you. Um, yeah, Yolo Traffic Light is quite the soft time. It's very impressive. Glad to see you're still here. I'm not completely alone. Hopefully, my soft time will be a half hour or less. Realistically, I'm not great at these, so this could be a while. Um, before I do this, I'm going to put the redwood pieces back on, because I like the redwood pieces. Hopefully they don't disturb you too much. So, that said, let's have my water and get started. Here we go. All right. Note that it starts the timer on your first move. I've just started the timer prematurely, just to make it fair. These are Suma and Three, meaning you give a check, the opponent makes a move, and then you give a checkmate. If only all games could be so simple. Um, so the first thought I had was this bishop check, draw the king up, and then hope that there's a mate. I think there is. So we promote here. If the king doesn't take, we just use the a horse to checkmate there. But then, yeah, the rook and or the dragon and the promoted lance uh, surround the king there. So we're one for one, and that took one minute out of 184 problems. We could be here a while. Um, hmm. we could definitely be here a while. I only have a rook in hand. Oh, there's a mate. Nice. Next. Hmm. Oh. Well, that's cute. I saw the other two variations. I didn't see what to do here. Okay, that works. Ah, uh, good gravy. What in the world is this? Oh, okay. Crisscross mate. That works. Um, discovery checkmate if they went the other way. The double check. Yeah, Suma and three are not always easy. Um... I like the category name. Still easy, but not as much. Yeah, it's a good name. It... Hmm. But yeah, this losing at these or having a difficult time at these is better than having a difficult time in a real game. Um... But, yeah, ideally you want to have a good time and um, do all of these. Check king takes. I don't see... Oh my gosh. Yes. If king takes, the horse moves. And that's straightforward. Why did I not see this? I saw king takes and knight takes. I missed pawn takes. Somehow there's a mate in one here. Oh, either bishop takes this. Okay. That's cool. Um, we have to take, and then we promote mate. Okay. Eight problems, three minutes. 
Yeah, we're going to be here a while. How do people get these so quickly? Practice, 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 but jeez. Like, I do my fair share of practice, right? I still suck. <laughs> All right. Inner position. Mate. Um, it would help if my mouse moved correctly. Okay. What? Huh? What is this? I don't get it. Oh. No? Pawn up, king out. That's not me. Um. Silver takes lance, doesn't me. Oh, wow. This is something that's hard for a chess player to grasp. It's just sack a rook, which surrounds the king. You don't see that in chess. That only happens in shogi. Okay. That mates. Here. Hmm. This is beautiful, but confusing. Uh, double checkmate. Nice. Um... Hmm. What? What is this? This doesn't make sense. This wants me to play bishop 3-3 three, three promotion, and then claim mate in one somehow. Um... But there's king one three. And while this does mate, it's not a mate in three. Where's the mate in three here? Wait, bishop here, they block. There's still no mate there. It has to be bishop 3-3, three, three, but I don't see a mate in one after that. Yeah, this doesn't make sense. I'll have to play what I... No. I'll have to come back to it when I'm in a better mood. I'm just stumped. Whoops, um, yeah, this and that, mate. Oh, Rook takes. Oh my goodness. Gold 1-1 one, one was the mate there. We're going to go back and correct that. Uh, there we go. So, Shogi's hard. But I'm just, like, particularly not apt at it or something. I don't know. No. All these work attack ideas don't seem to work. Gold 3-3. Three, three. Gold 3-3 three, three knight takes... Yeah, either rook mates. That's cool. Knight or king takes, rather. Alright, cool. Um, hmm. Strange. 
strange. Well, it's not the night check immediately. But if gold drop one, two, no, that doesn't work. If the knight checks, if king takes, there's not a mate in one. Okay, what about horse one, two? No. Drop on two, two? No. This is a mate in three somehow. So both drops on 1-2 go nowhere. Checking on 2-2 two, two just encourages them to take with the king immediately. And then again, we go nowhere. Um, if I check on 3 here... Yeah, that's the trick. If they block... Well, no, if they don't block, yeah, then this uses my piece. That's rough. Um... Hmm. Another piece would help me. <laughs> Although, allegedly, I don't need it here. Um. Oh, wait. Yeah, we could play this instead. Pull the king into the mate. Okay, what? This is so goofy. The first thing that draws my eye is Dragon 1-4, because it's crazy. But no, it actually mates, doesn't it? Yeah. You kind of expect it to look for the crazy moves first, because they usually work. Um... Wait, which piece do I drop on 2-2? Two, two? The one that checks. <laughs> drop the checking piece on the square. Hello? Okay. Uh, yeah, to checkmate, every move has to be check. Um, it's not like chess where you can get a checkmate by a series of moves that either are or are not check. Here... Uh, the problem standard is that every move should be check if um, you want your solution to count. Because um, otherwise, potentially you have a king and that king gets mated at the same time. So that's why you have to give check every turn here. Wait, what? What is this? Okay, I get it. That's check, and that's mate. Then over here... I don't understand. Okay. Now this is the difficulty, so we have to protect our pawn with the dragon. Then over here... Well, that's cute. Whichever way they take, I have a rook drop. Um, that's straightforward. If I promote, promotion doesn't mate. Didn't we have this problem before? Something quite similar appeared in the same set. Hmm. But it might have been different subtly somehow. Oh, right. I missed something there. Um, honestly, I'm just astounded how challenging some of these are. These are specially curated to be challenging, so should I be so astonished? Uh, this promotes and doesn't let the king escape. Okay, we draw the king into the mate. Uh, here we don't need to draw the king anywhere. Here... I can't drop the knight to check. 
Um, I don't know why they don't block with the rook there, though. Oh, because then the pawn would take. Okay. Um, okay, we have two moves and two pieces to use. So if we want to give check every turn... What? Oh. No? Okay, I dropped the wrong one. Um, we don't promote, and that allows us to use the rook on the next turn. Here there's a lot of pieces on the board, so I should expect this to be challenging. Probably. Um, if I check, rook takes... I don't see a next move. Hmm. Strange. What a wild position. Oh. Do we take here and then this is mate? Yeah. That's crazy. You don't see a lot of problems where mate in three and the mate requires you to capture on the first turn. That's kind of unusual. Wait, what? What's the deal here? Okay, so we have to cut the king's escape and then mate the king. Fair enough. And then here... Um... Hmm. Cutting off the king's escape is not so easy. Oh, the lance helps us in this case, so we back off this way. Fine here hmm yeah no I saw this line I'm not sure what happens in the other line there's probably some trivial mate but uh, these are fun ish so if I sack my knight there's too many options here well, no, there's silver takes. No, there's not. It's really quite linear. And I solved the one line there. Okay, I could promote the knight. Then they block. And I don't have a mate. Wait, but if I check here... Oh, I'm sorry, that's my pawn on 3-5. Or 3... Yeah, 3-5. So that simplifies things. Um, yep, there we go. Whoa, okay, hang on. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's evil. Um, only because it's a mate in three. So, simply finding checkmate is not good enough. You have to checkmate in the fewest number of moves. So if there's very few pieces, it's a bit embarrassing if you don't find it. Um, there's two ways they can respond. Each of the two results in a different mate. Uh, oh, okay. Epaulette mate. Wait. Every move is check, they say. We have two pieces to drop. Force them to decide which way to take that. And then do this. What? Oh, that's a horse, not a rook. Okay. Um... My brain is kind of melted looking at this. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Uh, this is simple. If you find the correct first move, finding the correct second move can be a lot easier. Sometimes. 
Yeah, this is unusual, uh, but that works. Double check is quite effective because there are just so many pieces on the board. Um, that's a surround right there. Okay. I see. It's important to cut off the escape before delivering the mate. I have a dragon. That dragon makes my task challenging. I don't get it. If I sack the bishop here, the king runs away, and there's no surrounding it. If I sack the bishop here, the king takes it. Again, there's nothing. If I promote here, they take my lance. Again, there is nothing. So, where could the mate possibly... Oh, no, if I drop here... Yeah, this is good enough in this case. That's tricky. We're never getting that exact position, by the way, in a real game. That would be wild. That would be very highly unusual to get a position looking anything like that. So, gold drop, knight takes. I don't see what's next. So that's not it. Gold drop... Silver takes, gold drop. Yeah. Or if king takes, we made on the other side. Mate in three, there's only so many ways you can lose all your pieces. Um. Hmm. No, we have to keep the square protected. I don't have a choice there. I can't move this. Unless I move it here. And that prevents the king from escaping. Okay, this is not clear, but I'm not getting any backup, so... This is a good problem. And it would be futile for them to block that check, so that counts as checkmate. Um. Hmm. Okay. So, I uh, can draw this away, let's check, and then be futile for them to interpose there. Um, hmm. If I do this, they take my rook. I do this. Yeah, okay. Clever. All right. Um, <laughs> I don't see a mate in three, although I do see a checkmate. If I drop on eight two, silver takes, and then I run the rook back. Oh, I'm sorry. This does count as checkmate because I promote and the king cannot move, and inner positions are futile, but more importantly, the king can't move there. Um, I missed that detail at first. Surround the king and drop to mate. Uh, okay. Wow. Oh my goodness. 
What is this? Okay, force them to decide which way to take this. And then drop the silver accordingly. Um... Oh, I know. No more. I could have dropped that. It just annoys me having the timer ticking there. It really does. Maybe I'd enjoy this more if I did not see the timer. But then would people watch this if there was no timer? As if people would watch this as it stands right now. <laughs> uh, so... Check. Nope. Nope. How do we surround this? Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's tricky. Here. What in the world? That ain't right. You're telling me there's a mate here. Oh, okay. We surround the king first and then mate. Um, no, the rook drop. There's. Well, maybe. Yeah. There's many ways they could drop if I put, or I could put the rook further back on the row, but then they can drop elsewhere, and it's not mate in three. So for it to be mate in three, I had to drop it on that specific square. Um, this is kind of amazing. How? How is there a mate in three here? What is this? Every move has to be check, and the final move has to be checkmate. This doesn't make sense to me. Because every check I can find seems to give their king more freedom rather than less. That's just not how these work. I'm supposed to drop every piece to make in three here. Oh, okay, that surprises me. There was a piece on that square. How can I check me to... The piece, the square is not available. Well, you make the square available. All right, we lure the king out here. And if the king declines, we just mate directly anyway. This looks near identical to the last problem. We we'll remove the defender. Uh, this, the king has not a lot of room to go. Um, I thought we are supposed to sacrifice pieces and not end up with extra pieces in hand here. So this silver drop, dragon take, oh, this is a horse, not a dragon. Okay. How's my horse going to checkmate? Really doesn't look like it will. Um, well, I mean, it's got to be this, and then we have to move the lance, 
And the king's surrounded, and I guess for an ideal mate, we don't take anything. Weird. Yeah, so for an ideal mate, we play that way, but we could also... I think we could have taken something, but I'm not sure. No. No, that would have given the king an escape square. Shogi's hard. Um... So yeah, we've already doubled the time it's taken Yellow Traffic Light and others to solve this. And we're not even halfway through this. And this is largely why I don't do most of these. Because if it's just me, and if the audience is either not interested or overwhelmed, then, like, why bother? They're... If there's over a hundred problems in a collection, that's probably way too many problems for an audience to want to watch all of them. But, eh, you be the judge. What can I say? I'm just trying to solve these things. Also, I'm missing mate in one. So, shows what I know, right? But yeah, every... Like, if the player has stamina, surely the audience has some concept of stamina. And it's not limitless. So, we're all human, etc., etc. You've heard it before. Uh, well, shit. This is a mess. How can this be mate in three? We don't have a rook or a general. We've got knights and lances. And not a whole lot of places we can drop them either. Mm -mm. How does this make any sense? Oh, because I'm just blind. I somehow thought my knight didn't fit behind the lance here. I read that line twice, and rejected it twice, before finally accepting that it does exist. But yeah, I read it, and checked it again, and each time I didn't think the knight fit there. So, again, stamina is a thing. Uh, yes, this is... This is simple if you see the key move. Otherwise, it's hard. <laughs> um, the next... What? Oh, I get it. Get the lance up there, and the king is surrounded. Double check, wait, what, excuse me, well this is weird, I am so confused, you'd never get this position, but if you did, how would you solve it? If we move the token out of the way, the mate evaporates. Oh, I see. Check, and then block the rook. Yeah, that makes sense. Some of these problems might be more contrived than others. Many of them are beautiful, though, so let's not mock the collection as a whole. Yeah, after I made the move, I realized that that was not good. The king takes it instead of the horse taking or bishop taking it. Um, wait, I've had a problem like this in a real game. I should know how to do this one. It really depends what generals you have and what generals they have. That kind of problem, if I remember right. Well, this is cute. So to make use of all the pieces, 
Yeah, they take here, and then we drop the knight back there. Why do we need a rook and a bishop for this to work? Yes, yeah, so if the king steps up, we may put the rook and the bishop. Otherwise, the knight works. Um, strange. Oh. But this is supposed to be mate in three. So if I drop here, check, forcing them to pick which piece to capture with, then there's not mate in one after that. If I drop elsewhere, I'm still not mate in one. How is there a mate in three here? Oh, I guess somebody might have been trying to compose a mate in five when they came up with this. Yeah, so if they block... Well, actually, if they blocked, what was wrong with that? Where's the mate after they block? Because I saw this line, but I forgot to double check what if they block on 3 1. Um, oh, then we take this pawn and that's mate. Okay. Yeah. Get her done. Alright. Uh, surround the king. <laughs> Taking the rook might be more combative, I think. Uh, but sure. Um,. What? So if we drop the silver first, bishop takes, and there's nowhere to drop the rook. So that's our clue that we have to drop the rook. But I don't see that being useful. No. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> silver take, or silver drop. Lance takes, rook okay, yeah. And if king takes, there's a pin. Okay, so here we go. Uh, yeah, double check is a useful instrument in these sorts of puzzles. Um, apparently it's not the only instrument. Oh wait, that's not a rook, that's a silver. Okay. Um, well, our bishop's hanging, so... How can this be made in three? If I check, the rook takes, and there's nothing we can do. If I take the rook, I'm nowhere near the king. That's not good enough. If I drop a gold, like, this doesn't do anything. This is a mate in three problem. Um... I apologize, it's taking me forever to catch up with uh, our viewer, Shogi explained. But yeah, this has to be made in three. All the other problems are, but how can this be made in three? If the silver moves up, they have to take with the rook, and we don't have a check there. If I take the rook, they take my bishop, and we don't have anything next to the king. If I just moved 3-2, they just take my bishop. Again, that's not mate. If I drop the gold on 2-1 or 1-2, the king takes what I drop, and there's not a mate. If I drop it on 2-2, two, two, it's not mate. This shouldn't be so hard.
It's almost as if I'm supposed to have a pawn on 1, 3 or something. But we don't. So what could this be? Like, we have to play the Discover check first, because otherwise, if the king moves, there's we don't have any check after that. Oh, if we promote here... Okay, that's the trick. We promote, and then this gold drop mates without the other rook protecting the gold drop. If the king had moved, the bishop can checkmate by promoting. So two promotion mate. Peace promotions are tricky in Shogi. Using multiple peace promotions to force a mate is not the easiest concept to grasp. Still, it's better to see that in a puzzle than to lose against it in a game. Which is why we do the puzzles. So we hopefully don't lose as many games in the future. Um, that's the hope. Um, okay, what? Check. Wait. Oh, they have a silver on one, too. Okay, yeah, I needed to play the gold drop first. I'll show it. We lead off with this. If king takes, we promote. Otherwise, we drop here, mate. Other way, I considered the knight check and then gold. 2-2. Two, two. And that didn't look right, but I didn't see the refutation. I just confidently played and confidently made the wrong move. So, make good moves. Don't make wrong moves. Good moves are better than wrong moves. Yeah, if you're in a game situation and you're thinking something doesn't feel right, take a minute to double check it before playing it. Um... Because after you make your move, it's too late. <laughs> There's no take backs. Okay, what the hell? What the actual hell? <laughs> uh, this should be easy. <laughs> okay. Alright, so that surrounds the king, and then this retreats and does not promote. Not that it could promote, but still. Ah, oh, these promotions and non-promotions are messing with my head. <laughs> That's not an easy game. If we do this, king takes, bishop drop, they can't take anything. No, they can take our token. Right, so I can't do that. I kind of have to do this, but then they can take the token, so I can't do that. So what else could it be? <sighs> what? I don't get it. Okay, we're going to play this because I'm frustrated. And just move on. And come back and face that one later when I'm in a calmer mindset. Um... All right, check in whichever way they take that. This is mate. Um, um, huh. Strange. Yeah, that's mate. Okay. I have two pieces. This is mate and three, so you have to drop a piece every turn. Welcome the king out, and then checkmate it. Usually you don't give the king that much breathing room, but in that case it didn't help them. Uh, let's checkmate. 
with or without promotion. Um, let's see. All right. Uh, do enjoy. Uh, see you around. Uh, Shogi explained. Um, so next what? Got this check. Yeah, this mates either direction. Oh, no, that's not it. If I check there, knight takes mate. If I check here, oh, knight takes is the only legal move. It's not. No, it's okay. Uh, I'm not doing well. I'm doing better than many amateurs would do, but for mate in three, I would expect myself to find all of these. And maybe that's too much for me to expect. Maybe I need to reset my expectations. Because if I'm not going to put in the effort to find every mate, why should I expect to find them all? How much effort does it take? Well, there's no way to know. But, um... If I'm not going to put in however much the appropriate amount of effort is, then how can I guarantee a win? Or a success. Um, strange. Wow, what a weird problem. Okay. That one catches my interest. Wait, no, but if I drop here... Then the... Okay, no, they can't block it. They have to take it the rook. Then we block this. Yeah, that's a weird problem based on how you interpret what is a futile drop and what's not, and therefore what counts as a mate and what doesn't. That makes you really think carefully about the rules of these problems. So if we check... Hmm. If we check here, the king comes up, and there's no mate. Check there, the king takes it. There's probably no mate. Oh, well, that's fun. Yeah, discovered mate. Okay. Yeah, they have a lance surrounding their king. That doesn't happen every day. Don't promote. Wait, what? King won three, maybe? No. Oh, okay, yeah, no, there's... These problems are not easy. These problems are not easy. Uh, so we force that to move away. Therefore, this is mate in one. Um, if we promote here, the king escapes. So we have to guarantee the king gets surrounded like this. How do people solve these so quickly? Alternatively, why do I care what the times on the website say? Oh, this is interesting. Yeah, so we have to promote this mates. I guess I care because um, 
my other shogi results are not so impressive. I'd like to think I do well at something, but it's just so extraordinarily hard to do well at a game like this. Okay, this mate's in one, but it was hard for me to believe it because we don't have an empty hand at the end. It's not an ideal mate, but it's okay. Surround the king like this and promote, and there we go. Um, what? Oh, that's cute. And then here, um, that's a mess. That's mate. And then here, okay, um, yeah, there's lots of entwining pieces there, but that's mate. Um, the key is to force the opponent to make a decision, and then based on the decision, play the thing that they can't account for. Um, so yeah, it's just a series of forks. Okay. Um, I like this series of recent problems. Gold drop, king takes, and the king escapes this way. So it's not the obvious thing. Um, okay, this is just a goofy problem. King takes, and the king's completely surrounded by its own pieces. Somebody had fun designing these. Perhaps too much fun. <laughs> Okay. Don't I need another piece to checkmate here? Don't I need one more? If I drop a silver, Lance takes. That's the end of that. If I take the Lance, king takes and there's not mate on the next move. If I promote the pawn, the king takes and the king escapes. If I drop a silver... Okay, well, if I sack my rook here, king takes. There's nothing. Um, if I sack the knight... Okay, that's the idea. That vacates 1-1. One, one. Um... Okay. I don't. Hmm. It's not easy to promote here. If my silver retreats, the king dives into this, and there's no mate. If I drop a gold here, the dragon takes, there's nothing. If I move the, dra the horse, the king escapes this way. I don't have a way to pin anything. Oh. We lure the king into it and then mate. That's the answer. Um... Hmm. Okay. Lure the king into it. The rook is cut out of this. Oh, and then this is a promotion. That's why this mattered. It's unfortunate when you can get a puzzle, when you can solve a problem by guessing one move at a time. 
without really a complete complete sense of what's going on from the outset. Um, there are shortcuts based on just what the aesthetic of an ideal mate is. So we know in many cases we could just drop a piece and the next piece drop is going to be a mate. Um, also, we know that we're not trying to collect pieces on our way. We're just trying to get the king. What? I was confident I was correct. Okay, now I see the correct answer. The correct answer is we drop the rook here, and then this is made. Um, that's simple enough. As for why the other move work fails, I don't know. But uh, if you find a good enough solution, you don't need to look for two solutions. Draw this away so that we can have our rook check without a rook being attacked. Again, finding one good solution is good enough. Sometimes it's hard to know what makes a solution good. Wait. Bishop drop, king takes, does not mate. Um, bishop drop, <laughs> uh, king takes, or king runs, both checkmate. Or lance takes, yeah, they all mate. That's crazy. That is so weird. But it speaks to, like, what makes these checkmates unique. Um, wait, if I drop that on 1-3... Knight takes. Uh, okay, yeah, I do have a mate then. It's right in front of the knight. Um, what? Oh, okay. That's surrounding the king. This one looks hard to surround. Um, because the king's in the center of the board. And our pieces are limited. Oh, okay, this is weird. Yeah, we can force the king into a mate. Um, double check. Here, oh yeah, discover check prevails. Here, we can move the rook away. Why is there only one mo Oh, because this is hanging. So only one move is best here. And that's to force the lance to surround the king, so then we can mate here. And there, the promotion doesn't matter. Um... Okay. And here, I have no idea. We need to surround the king somehow. The saddest part is I might have seen this problem before. I still have no idea. But if the king runs away, it gets much harder to checkmate. But I don't see a way to, to net the king into a tighter space. We have to surround it, but we have one gold, and that's it. So, this does not look easy. If I check, is that the net? Yeah, that's a really loose looking net, but it works. 
It helps to think of which squares are not covered. Um, okay, this is goofy. King is surrounded here. We just needed to get the rook around. Um, so... in the world uh we got a lot of checks but none of them seem to work again we need to surround this king but every attempt i make to surround it allows the king to run some other direction um a king generally doesn't get made at midboard so Let's get another proverb for our amusement. What's our proverb going to be for inspiration? If there is a mate with a pawn drop, there is also a legal checkmate. All right. There's our words of wisdom. Um, not sure how that's going to help us here, but maybe we find some inspiration from that somehow. I don't understand. We've got a horse and a silver that cover this king very, very well. Oh. No? Yeah, okay, so this actually surrounds the king. I'm accustomed to looking at variations, and thinking of this in terms of squares is just an immense adjustment that I'm maybe not ready for. Um, but yeah, if you do think of this in terms of which squares need to be covered and don't fixate on variations, that does make this uh, solving easier. That's just, that's a major adjustment for me, because in chess, we think about variations. Um, and yeah, fair enough, in like many of these problems, you need to think of it in terms of variations, not in terms of square cover. But often it does help to think in terms of square coverage. Um, hmm. Yeah, here everything's covered but this square. I don't have a way to cover that square. Especially not with gain of time. I definitely don't have a way to cover this with gain of time. I could force the king out, maybe. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a series of mates here. That's tricky. Um, but yeah, there's too many places pieces can be dropped. Here, that's quite linear. Only one drop allows... Uh, uh, check on the, well there are two drops that check but one just hangs a piece when you need more than one piece to checkmate um okay this is also weird if i promote they block with something or they could run 
Um, hmm. Yeah, how do I mate in three? So bishop five five probably mates, but they block with something, and it's a slow mate. If I want a fast mate, hmm. I'm not sure if it counts as a futile drop if they drop on four four after bishop five five. Do I have something cleaner? I don't think so. Um. I think it's got to be bishop five five. All right, but yeah, according to problem solving conventions, we need something better. Also, the king just runs out this way. What am I talking about? So I have to promote the bishop then. Um, having promoted the bishop, there doesn't seem to be a follow up. Oh wait, no, there is. Wait, what? Now how does that not work? They pro Okay, so the king runs back this way. But if I promote this way, then the king runs some other way. This... There has to be a way to do this. Okay, this is bizarre. Yeah, so... Okay, I was thinking... Yeah, this is what I came up with. Oh, and I can promote. I missed the promotion, but clearly it's necessary. Okay. That was a tough one. Um, yeah, we draw the silver away, and this mates. And then what? If we go here, we force the king to take the silver. Or the lance to take. Either way, this gold drop is enough. This is evil, but like the bishop pawn pattern means we have to sack here. Like this is... Yeah, this is just called for. This is a problem sort of specific thing that's just relative to compositions. Wait. Does this not go there? What piece was I moving? That's a dragon, not a horse. Okay. Um. So where's the mate in one then? If the dragon going there is not mate in one because the king escapes, the horse moves over? Yeah, that's mate. There's just a lot of pieces. Um. Check. But that's not check. This is the king. Helps to know which one's the king. Um, okay, In this one we don't sack the rook first because the rook is the checkmating piece. Okay, this one the king doesn't escape, does it? We promote in order to support the rook mate. Um, here, there's probably some dumb double check mate somewhere in here. Double check, there's the mate. Can't get enough of those. It looks cool the first dozen times, but eventually you're like, oh, it's another one of those silly double check mate things. Um, Okay, so we surround the king. If king takes, the mate's clear. Otherwise, this works. Yeah. Um, or by clear, I guess I mean idiomatic. Okay, the king is threatening to escape here. How do we stop it? Well, if we don't try to stop it, we check here. They block with something, and then... We don't have mate, because we can't drop a gold there. Um, if we try to lure the king over, they just take, and we don't have a... Well, actually, we do have a mate, because we have a lance protecting, or pinning that silver. 
All right, if we drop the gold immediately, what's the problem? King over, and there's no immediate mate thereafter. Um, if we promote the bishop and pawn takes, gold drop there is made. That's weird. That's like the least effective direction for the gold to be attacking. All right, this is... What? Wait, how? Oh, we're going to sit there and figure out how this doesn't mate. Is there not a mate in one after that? No, king takes. And this is not a gold, this is a silver. There is a mate, it's just not a mate in one. Yeah, this is our fastest mate. The object is to mate in the shortest number of moves. And many of these, there's a preference for an ideal mate where you don't end up with extra pieces in hand. Um, I don't know if that's the case for all of these, but in general, a lot of these problems are designed to allow you to ideal mate. And you can use that as a clue for... Um, helping you find the solution. Okay. This is another one of those double checkmate things. Wait. How's there not a mate here? Oh, okay. There we go. We have a discovered check. And somehow this discovered check results in a mate. Oh, I see. We force the king out and then promote here and the king has nowhere to go. Hang on, I was going to sack on 1-3. That's not good enough. You have to draw the horse over, or the knight over that way. Either way, and then this mates. Pattern recognition only works when you correctly recognize the pattern. You can't just make up stuff and call it pattern recognition. I expect it to work. Um, so what's the deal here? Oh, this is hanging. That's what makes this difficult. We have a hanging piece. Okay. And not really a clear way to fix that. This is amazing. This problem should not be so difficult. Oh, <laughs> here's an unorthodox way to unhang your piece. I'm not going to see that every game. Okay, and then this mates if you don't promote. Uh, here... want to surround the king. Wait, the bishop doesn't promote if we move it up this time. It's not high enough up the board for that to count as a promotion, but we don't need to promote because the pawn can mate instead of the bishop. Um, what? What is this? Rook. Silver takes... Okay, yeah, there's two different mates there. Three, actually. No, two. Only two pieces can take that. Um... That's a heavy defense. Oh, but this is pinned. Um... So we have to lead with the knight. And then... Either mates? Yeah. Okay, now um, 
we check, that's not good. Okay, yeah, there's, oh, I didn't see this. No, I did. There's two different mates, depending on which way they respond. Um, if we promote the rook, or I'm sorry, promote the knight, then, yeah, they have to take, wait, wait a second, we have to sack this here and then promote the knight. That's the only mate. Okay. We check with the bishop. They have to make a decision of to whether to block that or take it. Either way, this is made. Here. I don't understand. Oh, we cut off the escape and then discover checkmate. Um, this is another one of the cut off the escape, discover mate things. Although I don't know why I had to do the sack. I guess yeah, there was there were too many interposition squares. That's why we had to. Um, hmm. Strange. My lance isn't even hanging here. So if I do this discovery, they block. And somehow that's not made. If I drop here first, that's still not good enough. Um. Oh. No. If I drop dragon takes and then this promotion's not made. If I drop, if I move here, king takes, bishop drop, king escapes. If I check here, they take, I've got nothing. Oh wait, no, yeah, I do have nothing because the king escapes back, word. So, these corridor mates only work if the king is cornered. Um, oh! Wait. There's tricks afoot here. Yeah, if king takes, we mate with the horse up here. Otherwise, we just step aside. And, yeah, the horse covers each interposition square. Um, that was a bit tricky. If we move this to 1-1, one, one, the king escapes this way. If we promote the knight, uh, gold, no, let's double check. King takes gold, and we got nothing. If we promote the pawn, we absolutely have nothing. How is this mate in three? I see gold 1-1, one, one, king over, check, and... That's not even mate either. Wait, where's the mate? Knight, not promotion. Non-promotion move with the knight. If the king takes, the rook promotes back here. If the king doesn't take, if they block with something, then the knight promotes in the corner. That's the hard variation. All right. But yeah, that was the only unique move in the position. So again, shortcuts help me checkmate based on having tried, well, either short circuit evaluation of having looked at everything else or just some kind of recognition of, well, other moves don't work because the king escapes all the time. I guess I'm saying the same thing. Short circuit evaluation works if you're able to, like, Eliminate all the other alternatives because the king always escapes. Um, so yeah, if you can just figure out where are all the escape squares and cut them all off, 
then whatever the remaining checks are will checkmate. Um, so yeah, this surrounds the king such that this out here is made. Um, I don't have something in hand. Oh, so yeah. Um, I don't need anything in hand though. Uh, yeah, nice. At first it looked like I needed a hand piece. Wait, why is this gold drop wrong? Gold drop, king takes gold, promote here, that mates. Gold 2-3, um, king takes, no? No, I think my move works. Um, Does it not? Tell me why. Okay, it's Suma, but it's not mate in three. Somehow. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. The mate in three is not that, because king of one three. No, it's not. King two three is still possible there. Um, yeah. I'm not sure that the puzzle wrong answer explanation was accurate. After my move, yeah, I was wrong. Um, because my move doesn't checkmate. Because the king escapes on 3 2. Wait, okay, so we can force them to capture, and therefore this is made. And here... Oh. Right, discover checkmate. Here, it doesn't look like... Oh, there could be a discover mate with this. Oh my goodness. Um... Yeah, so discover check at mate. Hmm. Force them to take and discover mate. We are back on problem 14, finally. This feels easier this time, but I'm pr I still don't see it. <laughs> if I promote on 4-2, does that mate? Bishop takes, there needs to be made on the next move. Go to 2-4, yeah, and then this is the mate that I missed earlier. Now we're on 28. Um, okay. We're going to have to, oh, the king escapes this way, clearly. Yeah, this is obviously not it. Um, so there's our ideal mate here. Lots of pieces. Uh, if I drop on 2 2, there's nothing. This is really straightforward. 66. Um, See, this is the focal point that both the... I'm sorry, that's a knight, not a king. Want some focal point that forces them to make a decision. And I think... I forget what how I failed this last time, but this forces them to make a decision. And I think I tried the other move order last time, and it's just completely wrong. Um, but yeah, if the king stepped back, we dropped the gold in the other space, and that's made... So, this dragon covers a lot of squares. I made that comment last time. 
to this. Yes. And then do we promote the knight? This is mate in one if I can find it. Are there multiple mates in one? So the rook promotion drops the knight. It's the knight promotion. So now... Oh, how did I fail this? Okay, now if I sack there, that clearly doesn't work. But either promotion here wins. Right? Yeah, correct. Next up... Hmm... What's going on with this problem? I still don't get it. There's some key idea I'm just completely missing here. Okay, we'll come back to it. So we can't force the knight to move unless we sack something here. Oh, I just sacked the wrong piece list. No? All right. Um, okay. Not sure why they took that way, though. Like, if king takes, what's the answer? Oh, then the horse mates directly. Okay. 111. Hmm. I failed that the same way twice, I think. We're back on 98 again. Um, oh. Okay. If king takes, then we actually can take the pawn mate. I was looking for an ideal mate. But yeah, this is the ideal mate. I don't know why I need to look for ideal mate. I just need to find any mate. Really. Uh, this is not good. Oh my goodness. That no? How does that fail? I don't understand. Um I take their If I take the pawn, the king goes back this way and there's no mate. If I sack the silver over here, well, the king has no breathing room. Yeah, that's suffocation right there. Okay, here I... <laughs> All right. Pin the knight. That's the point. 87 minutes, 21 seconds. Jiminy Cricket! That was fun. <laughs> we got it! We got one achievement for the day. We started the day by failing Byoyomi's survival. Then after we failed to survive, then we tried to set a high score in high score mode. Got a high score of like 5, um, which is absolutely nowhere near the top of the high score leaderboard. Then... We decided to practice a problem collection um, under the practice section, no, under the puzzle section. And uh, yeah, we finally got our way through Su Sumit and 3. Still easy, but not as much. So yeah, I mean, we could go back to the problem collection page and see how other people have scored on this. Um, oops, let's sort these by easiest first. Still easy, but not as much. Here's yellow traffic light with a score of uh, 14 minutes. Ghost Stone with a score of 15 minutes. Show you Harper with 16. 
and us with 87 minutes and 21 seconds. <laughs> yeah, I've been saying on the Discord server that if there are over 100 problems, you're these really should be split up. You're not encouraging new people to join. <laughs> um, anything over 100 is just too much. But probably for beginners, over 50 is probably too much. Yeah, just 71 minutes away, and we would have had it, you know? Chances are, if we had the same collection, we went through it again and again, we'd get better at it. Um, and, you know, people have mixed opinions about whether that's a good thing. Many will say it's a good thing. Because it shows you're learning something, and you're able to apply your learning. So... Um, you can't complain too much. Uh, am I trying to get a world record? No. <laughs> am I trying to achieve something without like driving myself insane? Yes. Does having 185 problems in a problem collection help me on that aim? Not really. Yeah. Yeah. I'll... You could argue and many will, that Woodpecker uh, just trains you to memorize that specific problem set. And unless you have an absolutely enormous set of problems in the set, it's really not training you that well. Uh, so, uh, yeah, no, I think there's some limited utility to it. It's probably much more useful for Things where knowing the very specific elements, something closer to a opening, either in chess or shogi, or a chess endgame, where it just helps to know the specific things that will come up over and over again. That's probably where it's more useful than with these particular beautiful but challenging problems. Um, yeah, for opening... Crap, probably makes a little bit more sense. Oh, Chess Tempo has it. Very nice. Yeah, so... You know? <laughs> we're making progress somehow. Um, we're not going to make it onto the leaderboard anytime soon. But it helps that, you know, we're learning something as we go. I still would appreciate it. If these are much more bite-sized pieces to encourage more people to participate. Having more than 50 problems in a collection is exhausting people. Um, you could even make an argument that over 81 is too much for the game itself. But anyway. Yeah, in chess, they like to do things, and at most 64 in a group, but or at least on Lee Chess, you can make a study, and the study has up to 64 chapters. But here, I think the limit's 200. And it's not a good limit. Um, I mean, maybe it is for this kind of testing, but what's the point of this testing? It's not fun. It's hard work. And I'd rather have something that's more fun and encouraging. Um, we did earlier make it through this Suma and 5. I think I've tried this particular collection multiple times. And even though there's 53 problems, it took me an hour. And we can see for other players, their solve times are 2 minutes 47 seconds, 3 minutes 43, and 4 minutes 13. So, yeah, this, it's kind of amazing that I perform so well on 81 Dojos compared to here. But, um, yeah, if I were to improve at my endgame ability, that would probably help me improve overall. And I'd not be stuck where I continue to be stuck. But, oh well. Give it time. Give it practice. We'll eventually get there. Hope we enjoyed this little demonstration. Maybe even learned something from it. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, the site is playshogi.com. If you want to try it yourself, now you know where to find it. Let me show that in the page banner as well, just in case you don't believe me. Let's fix this. So yeah, this website is playshogi.com. So uh, yeah, again, hope we enjoyed that. And thanks for watching.